Pepperdine taking on Pacific on a beautiful Thursday night at Firestone Fieldhouse without leading scorer Bria Richardson. First half action, the Waves started off hot early behind Wallace's six points in the first minutes. Both teams battled down in the post with hot shooting, exchanging the lead four times. Pacific would then pull away, going on a 10-0 run to go up 21-10. Following a scoring drought, the Waves would go on an 8-0 run again, led by Wallace, who had 13 points on 5 of 10 shooting in the half to cut the Tigers' lead to 6. With time winding down, the Tigers would get a desperation three-pointer by Gianna Luaulu Summers to take a 39-27 lead at halftime. Second half action, Olivia Gumake King, a 6-0 run to cut the lead to single digits. Pacific would respond with a 7-0 run of their own to extend the lead to 15. For the Waves storm back with a 19-4 run to tie up the game. Towards the end of the game, Pacific would go to the free throw line multiple times, and despite shooting 41% in the half with a career night by Agumike, the Waves fall to the Tigers 63-59. I thought we were mentally focused. I, I don't know what we were down at one point, but the girls came back, fought it, got, you know, they hit a lucky three at the at half, which kind of changes things a little bit, but Again, I think we came out, did a really good job of staying within the game plan, being very physical, attacking on offense. Um, so I was happy with it. 